Okay, part 17 is your steam valve rod, basically a tubular shape. So we'll start with uh, the big end first, and uh, that is going to require a circle by center point. You can find the draft files all on the Blackboard site, so um, when, you, when you get those, if you need to know how to dimension these on your draft file, you can do that. But basically, I'm just showing you how to build the parts as best I can. So I'm going to lock to this plane. Um, we're going to find the center point, and we're going to draw a circle with a diameter of 0 0.480. I'm going to extrude that part using this edge. In this direction, a distance of, uh, let's see, to get the length. Two point one minus. Let me do some calculating here. Point four. So it should be point six. Now we're going to do another circle on this back end. The diameter of this one is going to be point one eight eight one. And we are going to extrude that one. A distance of 1.9. Okay, there's our basic shape. Now we're going to roll this up to the... Um, we'll roll it back to an isometric. And what I want to do is... Uh, If I zoom out enough, I'm going to set an auxiliary plane off this YX plane. I have to turn it around at this one. And we'll just bring that plane up here so that we can use it. And we're going to take our rectangle by center, lock to that plane, and uh, rotate this to a top view. Then we'll take our rectangle by center, find the center point right here, and we'll just draw a slot any size. Then we'll take our extrude tool, set it to negative, select this chain, hit enter, and we'll drop that down through until it goes through the bottom. Now we're going to Rotate this to a top view again, and we want to set the uh, the width of this Why can't a dimension be placed there? <laughs> Something about that color says it's Rotate it to a top view again. Well, shoot. A little too quick on the mouse, I guess. Let's just try it from this point to this point. The width of that should be 0.1875. And I want to make sure it says in both directions. So it's 0 0.1875. Yeah, worked. And the depth is 0.4, so let's see if we can adjust the depth on this from this edge to this edge is 0.4. That worked. That's our slot. Now, I want to put another plane on here. Can actually, well, leave that one there for now. 
a coincident plane on the ZX mode. We'll grab this arrow and just pull this piece out. And we are going to drill a hole through this 0 0.109 inches. Which I'm going to change to 0 0.125 because I think we've been making most of our hole connections on this where it said to be determined at 0 0.109. So we'll just take our hole tool. We're going to uh, simple hole 0.125. And this wants to go all the way through. We'll say OK. I'm going to lock to this plane. And we're just going to pop that right about here. Now I'll roll this up to a And we'll set our dimensions. From this edge in should be 0.2. Isn't off by too much. And let's just make sure that we have. This way. I'm just going to select the hole. I want to just be able to find this center point right here. There we go. Now it's centered. Alright, so that takes care of that end of the piece. Now we're going to go to the other end. What we need to do is um, thread the end of this piece. So we're going to take our hole tool, go to the threads. In this case it's a straight thread. The thread size is 10-24 UNC. Has a finite extent of 0.250 So it's only going to thread the end of the rod. We just say OK. We left click on this rod and say yeah I know it's going to be changed and it'll just thread the end of that piece. So we get our threads right there. Everything else looks good. And that should take care of it actually and we're going to go to our file. Oh you know what? One other thing where this connects we need to put a little round on that so we're going to click right here on this edge and it should be a round of 0 0.050 there we go so that is what it looks like we'll go to file properties again it's steel so I don't need to change that I do need to change this to steam steam valve rod And this is project 17. Else looks good. And we'll do a, let's just rotate it to an isometric. Uh, I can probably get rid of this plane. And this plane, don't need that anymore. And we'll do a file save. And that takes care of part number 17. Simple as that.